Now, when we used Microsoft Word, we could format um, our text, you know, making it bold, italic, underline, all these different things. We could apply formatting to that. When it comes to Excel, we have what we call data formatting. So we can actually format our data, in other words, these figures over here, um, into a particular way. And there are basically three types of data that can be used in a cell, and that's namely numerical values, um, text such as names and labels or functions and formulas. So in order to do that, I can go to the home tab. I can go to this number group over here. And here are a number of different formats that I can apply to data in my cell. I can also go down to more number formats. And here you can see there's a different categories. And you can see when I click on currency, um, what it's going to end up looking like. I can apply, you know, one decimal or two decimals to it, accounting format the date, time, percentage, scientific fraction, you know, all of these different things. So this is what I can apply to data in my cell. So let's just go and play around with this quickly. Let me go to number of items. I'm going to go up over here and I want it to display as, let's say, a fraction. Do you see how it moved there? Let's change that to percentage. <laughs> okay. Let's go to this one over here and let's display it as a number. You see how that changed? And then let's go to selling price and let us say um, we want it as scientific. Okay, so this is how we can apply um, data formatting to data inside of our cells.